question number 9 of the revised GRE general test. The question here says a random variable y is normally distributed with a mean of 200 and a standard deviation of 10. Now we are told to determine the weight of quantity A and quantity B. Given that quantity A is the probability of the event that the value of y is greater than 220 and quantity B is the value 1 all over 6. <coughs> now, now, the very first information we are given is, <coughs> is that um, the random variable y is normally distributed. That is the first thing. Now, since I know it's normally distributed, I know it's going to have, if I'm going to draw it, I should have something like this. It should be bell-shaped, something like this. So this is like a standard, a standard um, normal distribution. It has a bell shape, a normal distribution curve. But then, now this one is for when the mean is, the mean is at the origin. Now, but then we are given that it's, we are told that the mean of um, the random variable is 200. The mean is 200, and it has a standard deviation of 10. Now, how do I represent this on a graph? So let's assume that this is our graph, <coughs> something like this. It's, gonna, it's not going to be all that fancy, but let's just have a sketch here. So, and let's assume this point here is is 200. Now we are told that the mean is 200. So let's say we have something like this, and then we have something like something like this. So this is an example of a normal distribution curve. So the mean is 200. So this part here corresponds to the mean. Now the other information we are told and then there's something you need to know about a normal distribution curve and then that is the normal distribution curve is symmetric with respect to with respect to the mean that is the curve the curve you have here is so this curve here is symmetric is symmetric about about the mean so the curve is symmetric about this mean here now that's the very first information we know. Now the next thing we are told is this curve has a standard deviation of 10. A standard deviation. So the standard deviation is 10. So 10 here, that is from here to here, is 10. So from here to here is 10. That's the standard deviation. And then from here to here is also is also 10. So that is the gaps that will be moving is going to be 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 in 10 places. So that is here is going to be 210. And then probably here is going to be 220. And maybe here will be 230, something like that. Then here is going to be 190. Then here will be 180. And here will be 170. And then we keep on going like that. So what I want to do is I want to divide. Now we are told to find... What I want to check is we're given a value for quantity B to be 1 all over 6. Now the value of quantity A is what I want to determine from this graph here. We're told that quantity A has um, is the probability that the event that the value of Y is greater than 220. So 220 is this point here. So let's let's draw that down. So we have something like this. So let me pull this down. Let's pull this down. We also have this down, this down, and then the whole thing just keeps on going, going in that direction. <coughs> so, <coughs> so not confuse things. Um, let's assume I use this marker here. So this is we're gonna have one, we have two, we have three. So we have one, two, three. Then we have one. We have two and then we have three. So we have one, two, three. One, two, three. So note the areas here they are equal to each other. That is, if this is um, going to be A1, so A1 is the same thing. The area of A1 is the same as the area of B1 because we said this curve here is symmetric about the mean. <laughs> so similarly, if this is A2, so the area A2 here corresponds to the um, area B2 here. And then similarly, if the area here is um, A3, so A3 corresponds to corresponds to B3. 
so this is this is something we know now so our aim now so let me just stick in this part so our aim now is to answer this question here we are told to find the probability of the event that the value of y is greater than 220 so the probability we are told to find is now this is 220 we are told to find or we are told that quantity a is the area the area of this whole region here now note the area under the normal distribution curve is is one because you know it's a probability so it's representing the probability and the probability represents the area under the curve so the area under the curve or the area under the graph of the probability um, the uh, probability density function should be one so how then do I attempt to answer this question here now what I did was I divided this curve here into six equal parts I'm going to make um, a a comparison here assuming you have maybe you have a rectangle and this rectangle was divided into say six equal parts one two three four five one two three four five six okay my, my diagram is not all that interesting but at least you should have an idea of what I'm doing here so let's say here is um here is 200 so let's see here is 200 and here is 210 here is 220 while here is probably the end infinity while here is 190 here is 180 and maybe here is negative infinity now what we are told to find is assuming this is this is the the normal distribution curve now this part is what we are told to find we are told to find to find this part here so normally looking at the way I drew this whole thing here you would say that I have divided the rectangle into six equal parts one two three four five six and then each of this rectangle they all have equal areas so if you're told to find the area of six so the area of six now I'm assuming that the total area of this whole rectangle assuming the total area the total area equals one and then I have divided the rectangle into six equal parts so that implies that one of them which is what, I, what I'm told to find if I was told to find that one of them is going to be one sixth so this is going to be one sixth this will also be one sixth this will be one sixth this will be one sixth this will be one sixth why because when you add them up you have one so it is feasible here because they all have equal areas but then when we come back to the normal distribution curve the normal distribution curve is not like a rectangle in other words what I mean is the area here though is equal to the area here but it's not equal to the area here it's not equal to the area here so like they all have different areas and then as you go down the area here continues to decrease so again the total area under the normal curve is one and it has been divided into six regions just for illustration but then they are not all equal in area now the shared area the shaded area I have here is one of the two smallest you can see you have you have six regions here so this is one of the two smallest of the six regions I have here so its area must be less than it must be less than one sixth one sixth of the total area of the total the total area under the curve under under the curve you understand so it must be less than one sixth of the total area and then we said the total area under the curve is is one so that is is going this what we have here the area here is less than one sixth of one which is one all over six so that is the probability that the event is greater than 220 must be less than one all over six and then since this is one all over six here that is that implies that quantity a is less than quantity b so quantity b is greater than quantity a, in other words so and then that implies that my solution is um is quantity b i'm not sure i really explained this area well but if you have questions you could drop them down in the comment box below thank you for watching